evening. Uh, this is Ricky Ribaro from the New Julia Group. I'm talking to Pooja Shade from Limelight, the MD and the founder of the company. Miss Pooja, good evening. How are you? Good, great. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Ricky. Uh, this is regarding. We want to know about the Limelight, uh, the leading lab run company. So, can you give us some feedback? Sure. So, uh, Limelight has been uh, in existence for about two years, uh, but uh, very slowly uh, we've uh, actually established ourselves as the leading sustainable luxury brand of CBD diamond jewelry in India. Uh, so, we are an end-to-end -end customer brand offering CBD diamond jewelry uh, across India. We have about eight retail stores uh, in Kolkata, Ahmedabad, Mumbai, Gujarat, and Goa. Uh, and yes, we are bringing the sustainable diamonds to our country. Uh, recently, uh, in this budget, uh, the import uh, duty has been increased on the lab grown diamond. What are your comments? Absolutely. So, I think uh, everybody in the industry knows that there's a huge influx of HPHT diamonds, a form of lab grown diamonds from China. Uh, and I believe that the hike in import duty is a big step towards discouraging that, towards discouraging Chinese diamonds from coming into our country. Uh, so I think it's a huge positive for encouraging growers who are producing, you know, growing CVD diamonds in our country today. Uh, I think this is going to be extremely encouraging for them to do more of that and create a market from India for the world. Uh, right now, like the Bharat Diamond Bowl, the number one bowls in India, have given a green signal for the live growing companies to do a trading in the Bharat Diamond Bowls. So, what do you want to say about? Uh, I think you know the COVID has been a blessing in disguise in a way for the lab grown industry because a lot of things have worked in our favor. So yes, yet again uh, BDB opening up doors to uh, allow trading of lab grown diamonds is a huge positive uh, because I think there is no denying that this product is the future. Uh, the environmental benefits or the market acceptance for these diamonds is significant. Uh, so making sure that we now finally accept that and create a new business opportunity for everybody in the industry. Uh, I think what BDB is doing is fantastic. Of course, it will help if it's definitely done in the right way. So encouraging the traders to make sure that this distinction between you know the natural diamonds as well as lab grown is a must. But I'm well aware that BDB is going to take care of that. So I think it's a great, great step forward. After the pandemic, uh, this is the first show happening in India, the Sparkle Show 2021. So, what do you feel about a Sparkle Show and what comments do you want to give and what are you benefited from the customers coming to this exhibition? Sure. Uh, I think it's been extremely refreshing to finally start uh, you know, trade shows and Sparkle being one of the first post-Covid, uh, I think the response has been fantastic. Uh, being in the Diamond Hub itself uh, of India and of the world is great. Having this in Surat has been really good. And um, for Limelight, I think it's been beneficial because uh, we are the only, uh, at this point in time, CVD jewellery centric brand in the country uh, who's available at Sparkles. So I think we had that kind of edge and advantage to showcase to you know everybody who was coming in here of the opportunity size of you know producing jewelry in lab grown diamonds offering the different varied range of lab grown diamonds to end customers uh, and taking the incremental business opportunity so i think we've benefited a lot from meeting a lot of different partners uh, and generating business for limelight through this event uh, last question to you uh, miss pooja how what came to your mind that you want to develop the CVD? Sure. Uh. So I'm not the scientist, I don't make the CVDs uh, but actually I uh, I was in London so I studied from London School of Economics, uh, was an investment banker, no business, uh, no diamond background whatsoever uh, but I think the main thing that pulled me towards CVD was the fact that it was something that was growing in scale and it was being produced in our country. The technology is from India and the scale at which India is producing is something I was really proud of uh, and that's why I wanted to bring this story in the limelight <laughs> and hence I decided to set up a brand which showcases the true story of lab grown diamonds to the world. Thank you so much this is Ricky Ribeiro it was nice talking to Miss Pooja Seth from the limelight. Thank you so much.